Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to another fun-filled evening here at the New Carlisle City Council meeting for December 2nd, 2019, 7 p.m. And uh, there's only a few more Christmas shopping days left, so don't forget. What, 23? Right. You're not getting anything. I know. <laughs> so, Miss uh, Burner, when you're ready, please. Mayor Lowry. Here. Mr. Shammy. Here. Miss Hamilton. Hopkins, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I almost said here to that. Who? Here. <laughs> Who's Miss Hamilton? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Who's Miss Hamilton? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I just did that. I have no oh, idea. Hey, how was your Vegas trip? Did you get a loaf? My Vegas trip? Did you get a loaf? Oh, no one's getting it. Change your last name. Never mind. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, cute. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Eggleston. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Here. Mr. Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Here. Seven members present. All right. Tonight's invocation will be by Vice Mayor Lindsay. <laughs> Bow your heads, please. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you once again, Father, to ask you for your divine wisdom to give us the knowledge that we need to do to do the city business this evening, Father. Lord, we ask you once again to protect our firefighters, our our police officers, our military, our administration, Father, and most of all, Father, we ask you to bless and keep this council in your loving hands. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we'll need actions on the uh, CFP work session meeting for 11 13 19. So move. Second. Uh, Are you Sammy and Vice Mayor, where is the second? Yes. Okay. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Ms. Hopkins? Yes. Ms. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Cobb? Yeah. Mr. Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Um, you should have abstained. Right? Were you not at that CIP work session on? No, you no, wouldn't. At the firehouse? Abstained. Okay. You were at the firehouse. Minutes accepted. Oh, anyway. 601. All right, and then we'll need to accept the minutes so for moved. the work session on 11 18 19. Ms. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Ms. Hopkins? Yes. And it's accepted 7 0. And then again for the regular uh, council meeting on 11 18 19. So good. So when we just did, wasn't it? Yeah, we did the work session. Yeah, we did the work session. We, did, we just did the other one. No, we did the we CIP did the work one. session, the first one, yeah. and then the work session for the 18th right. is what you just voted on. Right. And so now this is the regular council meeting. Yeah. That was yeah. November 18th. Oh, okay. I okay. And I have a first from Mr. Shammy and a second from Ms. Eggleston. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Ms. Hopkins? Yes. Ms. Eggleston? Yes. Minutes accepted 7 0. Thank you. And moving on, communication is done tonight, and we go to Mr. Bridge for the City Manager Report. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, members of council, members of the public. Before I do get started with the City Manager Report, I would like to introduce a new member of the administrative team. Uh, to my right here is Jake Jeffries. Uh, he was approved by council to be our new law director for the City of New Carlisle. So I just want to take a minute to introduce Jake. Jake is a local attorney. These businesses located right here in downtown New Carlisle. So when we move into our new city building, uh, the city building will be one end and Jake's office will be at the other end of the block. I've worked with Jake in the past on uh, 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 items related to the city, uh, namely some uh, issues we had with uh, some land on Creek. So I've known Jake for about, I don't know, three years now. Great guy, uh, very knowledgeable, and we're very excited to have him. So Jake, Hi. Happy to be here. All right, thank you, Jake, for coming. <clears throat> we appreciate that. I'm moving on to the manager report. Uh, we'll move down, come down to informational items, new building update. Uh, I'm still waiting on the date of removal for the asbestos that we had discussed. 
Uh, once I hear back from that, I have a solid date. I will definitely communicate that with council. Uh, the 2024 capital improvement, uh, capital improvement plan. It's the same timeline that's been on for the past few weeks as we've passed each milestone. I take that off clearly. So tonight we will vote on the CIP, and then the 2020 operating uh, budget adoption will be on uh, 3920 or 32320. But we are always uh, we will shoot for that 39 of 2020. Charter Review Commission, we do have an application attached for Ms. Hoffman. Um, we did get a legal opinion on this, uh, so unfortunately Ms. Hoffman will not be eligible to be on Charter Review because she is already sat on a, another board in the city. You can also um, have the option to resign that board position if you should choose wish to become part of the Charter. But Council will not be able to approve her application for Charter Review. Okay. Mm -hmm. New call of holiday events. Uh, we got some information attached, so please take a look at that. I will be putting all this stuff on Facebook as well, hopefully uh, this evening when I get home or tomorrow. Uh, but uh, the first event coming up is this uh, Saturday, December 6th, is our tree lighting, and then that it begins at 7 p.m. And then we have the uh, parade starting the, uh, the next morning, Saturday at 7. So please take advantage of this. It's a great, it's a great event. Also attached with the city manager uh, report. Oh, I lied. Um, various meetings and events. Um, so, uh, on 1120 of 19, I attended with Councilwoman elect Eckelson Nowakowski the Montgomery County Food Summit. Uh, it was a spectacular event. Um, really opened my eyes and made me look at things differently with how we get our food. Uh, one area of topic was urban farming, chickens in the city. Um, I've kind of changed my viewpoint on that. Uh, I used to look at it as pets, but I mean, people can look at this for food as well. So I uh, opened up my eyes a lot, especially how uh, some communities that don't have grocery stores uh, operate, uh, how, how their citizens get their fresh produce. So a lot of great things are going down in Montgomery County. So hopefully we can get that um, done here in Clark County as well, because despite our economic background, we all need uh, access to healthy, affordable foods. And I think Montgomery County is doing a fantastic job on that. I've also attended a client dispatch meeting on 11-22 of 19 with various city and county leaders. There's a lot of big name people in there about uh, how we can uh, get the failed discussion between the county and the city of Springfield back on track for that combined dispatch center. So I don't know if we'll be around two to that. If there is, I will definitely update city council on that as well. Deputy Sheriff, equipment and depreciation list. At one of the last council meetings I had talked about we go ahead and add that fifth deputy if we don't want to buy a car outright and have that responsibility of liability and all that we can take advantage of the program that the Clark County Sheriff's Office does and that is basically we pay them about twelve thousand dollars a year and they supply us with a car and all the stuff that comes with the car including gasoline so if council decides next week to add that fifth deputy we'll have that discussion if you guys want to take advantage of this scenario or you want to go and buy another car outright um, but that I wanted to give so council can start looking over it this is part of the packet as well. So if anyone wants a copy of this, just please let me know. And upcoming information on new playground equipment. I know I've been seeing that for the past couple weeks now, but I'm still waiting on a few more information. But it should be delivered here pretty soon, and we're excited about that. And then the last thing is a credit card policy update that is in another department for review right now in the city building. As soon as I get that back with some credit limit recommendations, that will be put back in front of council as well. That is all I have for my city manager report. I'd be happy to entertain any questions. Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge? I just had one. Uh, where's the, uh, play if you said this, I apologize, or if you're holding out to make oh, it. Okay. Where are we putting the equipment at? It's going right out here. Addition to here. It's, yeah, we're expanding onto the out. I, I just tell everyone, we have to wait for a big reveal. Uh, we're getting uh, new and improved swing sets. Um, uh, I always listen to our citizens when they- Excuse me, sir. House. Chief, be safe. Um, and a lot of complaints is the swing set is so far away. So this is the last year of the budget, I mean, last year of the grant money we've been working with with county. So funds are kind of low. So we couldn't get, a, couldn't get a lot, but we are adding a few bays over here. Um, I don't know the color scheme, but one of the swings is going to have a swing where a toddler can swing with the parent right there, all one big unit. And then we're also moving our accessible thing over here that we have placed over here by the old playground. That is a, basically it's a big car seat with shoulder harnesses that come down. So if you are in a wheelchair and you have mobility issues, you can be strapped into that and swing as well. So what we're doing is we are continuing on our inclusive uh, goal with our playground equipment, 
and we're adding like a, two regular swings with the accessible swings as well. So once I, what I'm waiting on is actually diagrams from the company that says what they look like. So I wanted to present the picture with it as well. But that's generally what it is. It is set to be delivered here soon, I think this week. Install is going to be going on before the end of the year's end. Great. So yeah, um, a, lot of, a lot of people complain about the kids having to go swing far on the other side. Right. All right, thank you. Sure. Any other questions, Council? All right, thank you for the report, Mr. Bridge, as always. Thank you. And let's see, moving on to comments from the members of the public. Anybody has any questions or comments, please go to the podium and give us your name and address, please. All right, thank you. Committee reports, none tonight, and resolutions. Um, Ms. Byrne. Okay. <clears throat> Resolution 19-19R, public hearing and action tonight. A resolution adopting a capital improvement program for the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. Council. So moved. Second. Second. Who was the second on that? Mr. Cook. Yeah. Ms. Eggleston is the second. Okay. okay. An explanation to this ordinance. Every year we do a capital improvement plan. What that capital <coughs> plan does is it discusses our capital improvement for the next five years. That is part of our overall budget process. Our charter states that has to be done three months prior to this month of the budget. Uh, just please note that those, um, th those figures you see listed today very well could change when we do our 2020 operating budget and they very well could change for years 21, 22, <coughs> 23. But it is a yearly uh, a resolution we do to approve the capital improvement plan. Council, any questions for Mr. Bridge on the CIP? Mr. Bridge, I just wanted to say thank you. This was an excellent uh, package you put together for us with all the graphs and the pictures and things of that nature. So I switched it up from last thank year. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It was a very great effort. It's even more impressive when you get it in color. <laughs> Can we get Cost more, too. It's so. easy to do the minutes with each set up that way. Maybe you could autograph mine. I think about people. <laughs> yeah, he needs to autograph them. Hey, Mr. Bridge, can I get you to autograph this later, please? 25 bucks. What? <laughs> I'm not paying for that muscle, man. Michael, thank you. What All right, Ms. Burner, when you're ready. Ready? Councilman Cobb? No. Councilman Cook? Yes. <coughs> Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Chammy? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Motion accepted, 6-1. All ready. Moving on when you're ready. Okay. Moving on to our ordinances. We have ordinance 19-40, public hearing and action tonight. An ordinance adopting and implementing a uniform policy for projects funded in whole or in part by federal funding. So moved. Second. Ms. Ms. First and then Ms. Okay. Eggleston. Ms. Eggleston. In the explanation of this ordinance, this ordinance develops a uniform policy for use of our federal fund, and the purpose of it is to, um, let's say that, excuse me, <coughs> the purpose is to ensure compliance with federal requirements related to uh, federal grants, including pass-through funds. <coughs> Council, any questions or comments? When you're ready, Ms. Burner. <coughs> Councilman Cobb? Yes. <coughs> Councilman Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Chammy? Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Motion accepted, 7 0. Moving on to Ordinance 19 41, public hearing and action tonight. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with Miami Valley Lighting LLC for street lighting services for use on public grounds and streets in the city of New Carlisle. So moved. Second. Correction. Right. Hold on. If whoever makes the motion, if they want to go through with the LED change out, they need to make that part of their motion. Okay. Motion to. Uh, Let's see how would I put this here. Just 
to read it, right? Well, just to just make a motion to accept that ordinance. To accept with, ordinance 19 41 with, the with, LED, the LED, with LED lighting. With LED change Correct. Right. Okay. Is that what he said? With LED change with that, out? Yeah, with LED change out. Okay. And that was Mr. Cammy first, second? Okay. Who was first? Shammy. Who was second? Vice Mayor. Okay. Mr. Bridge, any. Uh... Yeah, you have to find those telephones. Yep, no problem. Uh, explanation of this ordinance. Um, every year we have, we contract out with Miami Valley Lighting, and that is the company who actually lights the actual street lights. They own the pole, they own the lights. Uh, what they have is they just presented this year, uh, as well as renewal rates for the next year of lighting the street lights, but a program that we can change out our existing uh, <coughs> fixtures to LED. It's a night and day difference as far as visibility. Um, they are also uh, covering 93% of the change up cost. So council, what they have done is elected to uh, uh, renew the contract for them to allow the lighting again, but to also take advantage of that LED change in the program. Council, any questions or discussion? When you're ready, Ms. Barner. Okay. <coughs> Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Shammy. Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cobb. Yes. <coughs> Councilman Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Accepted 7 0. Right. Ordinance 19 43 E, introduction, public hearing, and action tonight. And ordinance repelling sections 618.12 and 672.12 of the City of New Carlisle codified ordinances. Amending section 672.01, 672.05, 672.07, <coughs> and 672.16 of the City of New Carlisle Codified Ordinances. Amending chapters 648 and 672 of the City of New Carlisle Codified Ordinances and enacting section 606.31 <coughs> and 672.16D <coughs> of the City of New Carlisle Codified Ordinances to comply with House Bill 228 and declaring an emergency. So moved. Second. Hopkins and Vice Mayor. Okay. Correct. Uh, an explanation of this ordinance. Um, this ordinance is to ensure the city codes are not in conflict with the state mandated changes to Ohio gun laws as stated in House Bill 220. Council. I had to write that down. Good. It's House Bill 228, sir. Council, any discussion? Two questions. 220. Council Bill 228. All right, when you're ready, Ms. Barnett. I said 220. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Mayor Lowry. Yes. Councilman Shammy. Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cobb. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Absolutely. Accepted 7 0. <clears throat> I have ordinance 19 44 4, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12 16 19, and ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with the Clark County Sheriff's Office for fire and EMS dispatching services. I have ordinance 19-45, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12-16-19, and ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for city employee health insurance. Ordinance 19-46, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12-16-19, and ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for the purchase of water softening rock. Ordinance 19-47, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12-16-19. And ordinance amending section 248 of the codified ordinances of the City of New Carlisle regarding city policy. Ordinance 19-48E, introduction, public hearing and action tonight. And ordinance supplementing certain appropriations in New Carlisle City Ordinance 19-04 and declaring an emergency. 
So moved. Second. Uh, for an explanation of this ordinance, since it is a uh, ordinance that deals with our finances, I will let our finance director, uh, Ms. Debbie Watson. Uh, okay. Um, this is an ordinance that um, at the end of the year, there's a lot of housekeeping, housekeeping ordinances that need to be done. Uh, during the year, we don't appropriate all our money at the beginning of the year. And so we have this money sitting there to be appropriated. Um, some of our funds um, with a learning cur curve, um, some of our funds fell short this year in debt where we have to pay. Our first payment is interest only on some of our debt, and then the second payment is interest and principal, and we missed the interest on a couple of them. And then sometimes the bill comes in at the end of the year, and we wind up paying this year's bill next year, which makes three amounts that we have to pay, and we didn't um, look for that when we did the budget this year. So we're just cleaning up some things, making sure I have enough money to pay all the debt bills that have come in in December. Thank you very much. Mr. Vice Mayor. Ms. Watson, I have a question. Why are we making interest payments only? Is it, is it, or, no, uh, or Mr. Bridge, whoever wants to answer, or is that something we've been doing in the past? That's the way these loans were set up when you initially um, set them up. Uh, that uh, When I came in, that's how they were set up, that uh, the mm -hmm. first payment was interest only, and then the second payment was interest plus principal. It's very that's common when we deal with large sums of money like that. Um, the <laughs> ones she's talking about is when we refinance the general obligation uh, debt bonds about two years ago, and we ended up saving the city a lot of money. Okay. So basically how to do this first payment of the year, they'll do interest, and then you'll follow up with the second payment um, in the year for additional interest and also the actual sum of the actual repayment of the loan. Okay, thank so you. So we've got multiple loans are across that, and Debbie's done a great job. <coughs> she was in there putting a puzzle together <coughs> with this budget because she just didn't have the history with it. Um, I'm the one who did the budget in 18 and just forgot to put the uh, interest in for uh, the general obligation of uh, bonds that we have. So that was my error, but Debbie, like I said, once she moves forward, and she's has a year that's under a couple years under her belt. She's going to know this line and pays that, that on, line and pays that. Prior, we were using our former finance director's Excel sheets. You know, so the money's there. We just got to reallocate. Okay, thank you, mm -hmm. Council. Any other questions? <clears throat> All right. Are you good? Yep. When you're ready. Councilwoman Hopkins. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cobb. Yeah. <clears throat> Councilman Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Chammy? Yes. Motion accepted 7 0. Ordinance 19 49, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12 16 19. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with the Sheriff of Clark County, Ohio for police protection within the city limits of New Carlisle, Ohio. Ordinance 19-50, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12-16-19. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with the Sheriff of Clark County, Ohio for police protection within the city limits of New Carlisle, Ohio. Moving on to other business. Yes, please. Congressman Warren Davidson will hold his mobile office hours at the city building on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 1.30 p.m. until 2. The tree lighting ceremony will take place Friday, December 6th at 7 p.m. The 34th annual holiday parade will take place Saturday, December 7th at 10 a.m. Santa arrives by plane at 9.30 a.m. After the parade, um, you can visit Santa and the, participate in the costume contest at the fire station. New Carlisle Elementary will hold a free Merry Grinchmas lunch from 1 p.m. until 4. City offices will be closed on Tuesday, December 24th for Christmas Eve and on Wednesday, December 25th for Christmas Day. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Bridge, coming into the silly season of Christmas, is the city building doing a Christmas party this year? Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing a Christmas party. I just don't know where we're doing it at. Oh, okay. So further discussion down the road? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. <clears throat> Does he realize Christmas is coming real soon? I think so. Why? Well, okay, just, just wondering. Hey, we got the room set up. We got the room reserved. We decided to go off site. We got the shelter house. We decided to keep it. 
Well, if anybody's ever thinking about Christmas gifts and want to get their city manager something, he loves Michigan. Oh, uh, he does remember. like Michigan. He is Very a well. huge yeah, Michigan yeah. fan. So if somebody wants to buy him a hat and throw it in the back of his seat, awesome. So, all right. Council, anything else? Audience, anything? Don't we need to? Uh, yes, truck, truck. Oh, yes. Thank no. you, Ms. Agerston. And also, too, if you guys want to change the time of the work sessions, although I highly recommend I, that. I, yeah. Might as well okay. Yeah, six, because we used all of them. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, Ms. Agerston, would you care to do the honors? that we purchased the 2010 truck for what, 1990? Let's not set a time, we don't know what that is. Yeah, we don't know the same yeah. price. <clears throat> Just question, sure. is, is that gonna include the uh, plow or is that gonna be a separate thing? I think the motion should just cover it all and then- Cover it all, okay. Legislation pieces later. Okay. Okay, motion by the 2010 truck and plow. Second. Hand pump. Hand pump. Hand pump. You were the second? Yes, ma'am. So, right. clearly, Ms. Agelson, advice? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you want to go over this at all? Oh, that's up to you guys. Okay. No, no, I mean with them. Oh, do you, do you guys want to update or want me to? Clearly, or maybe. No, it's, I can't, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, uh, I will even, if you don't work work session, what the, Sorry for the communication here there. Uh, in the work session, council wanted to uh, purchase a truck. We have a 2010 truck out there uh, that was brought today for council to look at. Council wanted a newer vehicle, uh, but Dave Coleman found this one. He's a city mechanic. It is a 2010, but it has 16,000 miles on it and it's been used as a show vehicle only. That vehicle does have the option to come with a plow, and I forgot the manufacturer of the plow. Um, Boss, or is that no, it's Boss it's slang, slang line or something. Slang like line or something. Slang line. So slang our line. service director is looking into getting a, a Boss plow from a local vendor here because that Boss plow would be interchangeable with our other fleet uh, vehicles in our fleet. If we get the plow that comes with the truck, it is not interchangeable with our other fleet. So um, we'll be making that decision to what way direction we want to go to plow. I wanted a motion from council for more for me to buy the truck. And that's what they're looking for. Thank you. Yeah, and I just wanted to reiterate that you know we were looking at getting a new truck for the for the street department and probably looking at anywhere from forty to you know, you, you guys have seen price trucks and vehicles. I mean fifty thousand dollars easily to get it equipped with what we needed. And uh, again, uh, Mr. Kitko and our uh, uh, what's Dave's title? Uh, mechanic. Yeah, the mechanic went above and beyond and, and found us a truck that was you know way under what we were expecting to spend and stretch our dollars as far as possible with something that's going to get the job done with you know providing uh, you know Ron and the street department with a piece of equipment that's safe and will get the job done for the next hopefully ten years or so. So good job to them and thank you, <coughs> Mr. Bridge, for working with them. Thank you for being open. Mr. Master Vice Mayor. Also, I, if, if it was said, I apologize. This truck only has a little over 16,000 miles on it. Uh, council looked at it this evening. It, uh, I couldn't find any rust on it. The, uh, we're going to have the, the under, uh, have it undercoated. I think the company uh, providing the deal goes through that we're getting it from is going to have that done at their cost for us. That'll save us even more money. And I just, I think this is going to be an awesome truck for uh, for Ron or whoever winds up with it. Awesome. And it's a 2500 too, it's a three quarter ton truck. Can, can I ask a question? Sure. Ron, I'm going to put you on the spot, but it's going to be your truck. What do you think about it? Do you like the truck? Oh, it's a great deal. You do? Yeah. 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 I'm going to put you on the spot, so it could be driving. Do you want heat working in that when you get it, Ron, or should we disconnect the radiator? Well, we're asking a lot. Oh. He wants heat too? He wants heat? What? Yeah. <laughs> you want heat in this thing? Appreciate <laughs> it. Well, we'll have to put a higher, a lower thermostat in it so you don't get quite so much. Just <laughs> <laughs> going all night. All right. Anything else, Council? All right. When you're ready, ma'am. Mayor Lowry. Yes, definitely. Councilman Shammy. Yes. Councilwoman Hopkins. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cobb? That's a horrible decision. 
<laughs> it is for Ron. It is for Ron. Yes. <laughs> Councilman Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? I'm not sure if this is really the truck Ron wants or not. He, he's sitting here and he says yes, but he's back there shaking his head no, so I'm not sure he's sending mixed signals here. He does have a Ford uh, hat on, though. He, do, he has a Ford hat on. We're buying a Silverado, so I don't know. He may not want this truck. Oh, yes. Accepted 7 0. Awesome. Thank you. Ms. Eggleston, right. thank you again. Okay. No. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Mr. Cobb. Is there any way that we can rig up here at the Kwanzaa Hut when they go out and plow with that, they can come back and clean the undercarriage and salt off of it? Right. Rob, do you, do you clean them all now? It'd be awful icy. Pardon? It'd be awful icy. But we're going across the province freezing out there, so. So would that be like a, a lift system? Like how? Well, no, I mean, just like the fire department does. They hose the salt <laughs> off of it when they go out. Sure. And they come back in, they fend their wells. Yeah, we get it easily put. If we're out on the line and everything else, we come back, we get put down, we'll wait the next day when it slows up, and I hope we stop off. I mean, it'll make the truck last longer. Yeah, really, right. by doing that. Sure. Back, it'll go out to the truck, so we're going back in the next day, we'll come in, and if it gets thrown up, we'll run to the front of the wall. We're going to hold you to that. It's all heats up. It's all heats up. Well, if you don't do it, we're going to take the heater out. <laughs> and the air conditioner. Thank you, Mr. Cobb. Anyone else? All right. Move to adjourn. Second. Thank Thanks you. It was an awesome meeting, guys. It was long and intimidating, but thank you so much. Intimidating?